Did you know that in pulmonary embolisms, you actually don't go into cardiac arrest typically from a hypoxia problem or a lung problem. You go into a cardiac arrest because of a failure problem of the right ventricle. Let's talk about it. So when it comes to a pulmonary embolism, what happens is that when we end up with a lot of pressure or a clot inside the lungs, what it does is it puts a lot of pressure on this pulmonary artery. And ultimately it's gonna mean that we have a lot of pressure on this right ventricle. And this right ventricle needs to work really, really hard to squeeze and move blood forward. So that's like me kinking this line right here and telling my finger over here to push really hard to try and get blood through to the lungs in order to get oxygenated. It just takes way more effort and way more energy in order to do that. And so really when we do have a pulmonary embolism in the lungs, it's not actually the lungs that are particularly gonna make you go into cardiac arrest or with hypoxia and those kind of things. What's really gonna be the problem is this right ventricle is gonna get overstressed, overstrained, and it's ultimately going to go and basically fail because it can no longer push blood forward because it's just too high of a pressure system because the afterload is so high it can't move blood forward. We've helped over 30,000 paramedic and EMT students sail through school and crush their exam. Any subject you struggle with, we have a fun, visual, and engaging class to help you master it. If you're ready, start a three-day free trial right now and watch your school stress melt away.